Today we're going to talk about acne, what causes acne, and the perfect solutions. Hi, I'm Manuela Marcajani from Isomers Laboratories and today we're going to talk about acne. Let's start off with what is acne. We hear acne all the time. What is acne? Acne is something that happens onto the skin. It is a condition. So what is happening is that you have follicles, hair follicles, and these hair follicles that are very long when they're in the skin, okay, they actually have a sebaceous gland or an oil gland at the bottom of it inside your skin. That oil gland creates sebum, which is the oil, and that travels up the hair shaft and out onto the surface of your skin. What happens if you don't exfoliate or there is debris or pollution or bacteria, that oil gets stuck like a traffic jam. It doesn't flow through up that hair shaft and that becomes acne. You'll know it as a zit, a pimple, a breakout, and that is why it is something that actually gets worse during puberty and other times of your life when more oil is being produced. So this is what's happening inside the skin and this is what is causing your acne. So I guess you wanna know what causes acne. Is it something that you're doing wrong or something that you're doing not so right? Many of us could be doing everything right and we have acne. That is because it's genetic. That is because it's during puberty. That is because that is just that system, your body, how it is processing things you're eating, uh, habits that you have. Those all contribute to how your sebum, how much sebum you're making and how that sebum travels up through that hair follicle and comes out onto the surface. So if you're not washing your skin properly, if you're not uh, practicing good hygiene, if you are touching your face a lot or reusing dirty towels or sleeping on yucky pillowcases, all of this leads to acne. Also, you know what else? I love fragrance. I only wear one fragrance. I've worn it for 15 years. That's the only time I put fragrance on me is because it's in my perfume, never in my skincare. That's the number one acne causer. So these are the things that are causing acne and this is, you know, something that we can actually start doing to really help our skin. There are a few things that you can do to actually be aware or get ahead of your acne. So how, how are we going to do this? First of all, we're going to drink good quality water. Water is very important. Think about water as a universal solvent. Our body is creating more sebum for many reasons. Our hormones may be out of whack. Maybe we're eating junk food. Maybe we have too much salt, sodium other things in our body. So you want good quality water. Not all water is good quality. So really, that's like liquid gold for you. Drink good quality water. You don't have to drink eight, eight, you know, eight ounce glasses. You don't have to overdo it or you know, drown yourself. But drink enough water so you're not thirsty. And this is actually going to detoxify you and it'll show up in your skin as well because it'll actually have help to you know, flush out your system, get things going. The other thing is, to use less makeup or use makeup that is clean and clean what do i mean by clean is that it's not old makeup that it's makeup that you change regularly you're not borrowing somebody else's you're not cross contaminating that is another thing another thing to do to really help get ahead of the acne is to use good product that is designed for acne but also doesn't strip or dry your skin out so let's start going through an acne routine and this will really help you know if you think about it old way of getting rid of acne or when people talk about it, your skin is making too much sebum so the thing is you know what we're gonna dry the skin out let's get rid of that sebum dry it out dry it out no stop because the more you dry your skin out the more your skin is saying I need to make more oil and we're gonna actually break that myth so first of all cleansing Cleansing is super important. I can't stress enough how important cleansing is, and especially when you have acne, because think about, remember how acne is caused. In your skin, you have that hair follicle, that sebaceous gland is creating sebum, it travels up the hair shaft. 
If you are not cleansing your skin properly, if you don't have an acidic pH, if your skin cells are stuck and they're not shedding, there's no cell turnover, or if there's bad bacteria present, that sebum gets stuck there, you're creating acne. How do you solve that? Proper cleansing. Proper cleansing, I recommend, I love the Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. I created it when I was around 40 because I had acne and aging. So this is gonna help with cleansing your skin, polishing your skin. Sebum comes up, we're gonna actually make sure that that acid mantle of your skin is intact. So you want your skin a little acidic. You want the cells to turn over so the sebum can come up, that dead dry skin comes off, the bacteria is at bay, this is why it is such a successful cleanser. That's the kind of cleanser I want you to utilize, something that's gonna give you an acid mantle, because that's important, don't strip and dry your skin out, no, 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 and something that's gonna help with the cell turnover. So that's the first thing is the cleansing. The next thing, part two, step two, is exfoliating. So you want to exfoliate your skin. So if you want to do a daytime, nighttime routine, a really good exfoliant would be a glycolic drop. So something with glycolic is going to lower the pH of your skin, which is really good. And also it's going to help dissolve those dead dry cells, open up that follicle, allow that sebum to release itself. So you're going to use, uh, using a serum like a glycolic serum is really good. That is something that I would recommend. So cleanse, then you're gonna exfoliate. After that, we're going to do antioxidants and hydration. So first of all, antioxidant. We wanna use a vitamin C and E. This is a great antioxidant to utilize for acneic skin. Why? Why you say? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you because the vitamin C actually helps with collagen stimulation. So when you have acne, you're actually stressing out your collagen a lot. And if you are enlarging your pores or picking at your skin, which you shouldn't do, you're breaking that collagen. So the vitamin C and E is gonna help with that collagen. It's gonna help as an antioxidant. It's also gonna help brighten your skin so you don't end up a lot with those marks that a lot of skin types have with acne. The other thing I really recommend is don't use a lot of creams when you have acne. I know for myself, if I'm doing a beauty routine, if I finish it off with a heavy cream or a product like that, for sure my skin feels a little gummy and I notice that I get little breakout really, really quickly. It's almost like uh, it's that perfect environment to make it that kind of mushy kind of acne feeling skin. We don't want that. So I've really looked at a lot of literature, but in practice, this is what I found has helped my skin the most. I started using more serums serums that are oil free serums that actually are going to be hydrating so something like a hyaluronate serum acidic hyaluronate serum is excellent for moisturizing the skin without oil you don't want to use anything like an essential oil something that is comedogenic something that's going to sit on that skin surface and suffocate your skin remember that follicle you don't want a traffic jam with that sebum you want it to come through and you want the skin to actually shed itself Finally, a couple of other things that I would recommend is the triactive microbiome. This is your prebiotic, your probiotic, your postbiotic. This is good for your bacteria. You want to feed your good bacteria and you want to send your bad bacteria away. And when you have acne, you have more bad bacteria than good bacteria. So you want to fortify that good bacteria. Use something with a probiotic that's a three blend of probiotic. That's important to get all three. And it's very, very lightweight and it's not really a cream. It's more like a gelish, gel kind of a substance that you can actually break down easily with your serums. And finally, if it's really bad, if you're very cystic, okay, you know you can feel it. It's like, oh, I know this was gonna come up on Wednesday and here's one for Saturday and here's another one that's hurting me and I don't know what to do. Then that's something that you wanna get a little bit, you know, deeper work with. You've gotta to go to something a little bit stronger, which is gonna be something like a 2% salicylic acid and you wanna leave it on, on that area overnight so it's going to get that deep, concentrated zapping. Anyway, this is a really great routine for acne. This is a really great way to actually deal with it from cleansing to exfoliating to moisturizing. Just because you have oily skin does not mean your skin is moisturized. You need 
the moisture magnets. Don't dry your skin out, follow this great routine, and I know you're gonna have better looking skin.